is Slee from ColouringQueen.net and today I want to show you a Court of Thorns. It's by Sarah Mars who is a New York Times bestseller for her fantasy style novels. This is the second colouring book from her series based on her novels which you can see there on uh, the back. Her first colouring book was um, Throne of Glass which was very successful. Now the glossy cover has a printed colour image on it. There's nothing to colour there. The title and the subtitle here and these lovely little thorns are all embossed. So you run your finger over those and feel them. And these thorns are lovely silver foil. So it's just a card cover. book has white medium quality paper. Now there's five artists that have worked on producing the illustrations in the book. So it, you'll see various different styles and that's because it's not just one artist that's creating the works. So the images have all been printed on just one side of the paper. And the paper is a white, medium quality paper. On the facing page, there's extracts from the actual book that this colouring book has been based on. And you can see that some of the illustrations are extremely fine and detailed and others are more open spaced and easier to read. And again, that's because there are five artists that all have different styles and different ways that they interpret the actual novel that this colouring book is based on. The paper is white it's medium quality and because the images are printed just on the one side with just the extracts on the other it means that you should be able to use whatever mediums you fancy but make sure you test it out on a page that at the back of the book where it's got some information on it so if your mediums don't agree with the book, it won't matter and you won't damage a page that you want to colour in. Now some of these have got lots of fine detail in parts of the picture, then more open space in other areas. But some are just so finely detailed that if you have a visual impairment, you know, it, you're going to have to leave quite a few pictures that you might not feel comfortable colouring. And again, you'll see some of the illustrations are just packed with detail. This one's completely, everything on the page has something detailed on it. So it's going to take a while to colour some of these in. But they really do look great. And because of those different artistic styles, there should be something that you like colouring in for whatever mood that you're in. Now most of the uh, line art is a lovely black. It's more of a dull black than a bright black. Some of the lines are more sketchy in some illustrations like this one than in others and some are a lot crisper and finely detailed but most of them have a real sort of artistic style to them that really sort of depicts the scene and you can imagine when they're coloured in, how beautiful that they would look. So of course, if you're fans of the novels, then of course, and you like to colour, then this is going to be a really great book for you to immerse yourself in. And you can enjoy the novel as well as colouring it in as well. And if you're new to the work of Sarah Maas, it's probably a great way to get to know her fiction work as through her colouring books. So 
So the good thing about this too is that there's a lot of men in the pictures as well, which we often don't see in these style of books. They often are just, you know, more female based. But there's quite a lot of male pictures in here as well, so can challenge you when doing your skin and hair and other techniques. So we've got a massive range of pictures there, all different styles, lovely single pages to colour. And at the back here we can find out a bit about the artist um, and a bit about the artists that have drawn in this book. It'd be nice to know which artist drew which pictures. Unless you're familiar with their work, you might be able to guess, but if not, we don't really know. Now on the back here, this is probably the best place for you to check out and test out your markers and your mediums. So there we have it, A Court of Thorns and Roses. The links to buy are below the video. Until next time, happy colouring.